here. Gold. Where is it? I smell gold. Gold, my share gold. <laughs> Stupid dated joke. There we go. Gold, future me, gold. I have gold. Okay, how many is that? Fifteen. Neato. I'll have uh, twenty by the end of the next dungeon. I don't know. I'm not there are five in the next dungeon or anything. I um yeah weird place to start the episode. Hello, the audience. I'm back in Kokiri Forest for the purposes of um. There's a plot of soil I want to plant a seed in, so we're doing that. Also, there are, I mean, there are a couple plots of soil I want to plant a seed in, starting with this one. Um, there's one more in the Lost Woods, and then we can just uh, cut to where we're supposed to be going next. <laughs> Interesting. You flew off the other way last time. All right. Right, so this episode we're going to go further than the bean salesman who likes to scam us out of money. We, okay. Uh, oh, I just realized we probably didn't actually see Octorox uh, in Zora's River. Sorry about last episode, which um, I'm, I kind of lied at the end of it, because I'm like, I'm probably not going to record again after this. I'm totally recording again after that. Uh, so, yeah, whoopsies. Okay. <laughs> That's a Tektite. That's right, we didn't... A blue Tektite. I don't think there are any other colors in this game. It's hard to beat on the water. Uh, lured onto land. Uh, oh, maybe there are. Red Tektites, I guess, are around Death Mountain, and they just kind of bounce and explode. Cool. Um, blue Tektites uh, walk on water, like, um... Future me, uh, put up the bug. There you go. Th these guys. And the name of the bug? Cool. Uh... <laughs> Alright. Um... Uh, at Future me, take down the bug. Okay, cool. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> uh... All right, I'm enjoying the editing stuff now. Uh, <laughs> Wee. Uh, okay, so yeah, there was a hard piece back there, but we can't get it yet. Not entirely sure how you're supposed to get it. It's, uh, stuff on this... I almost said route. Uh, stuff on this um, path. Uh, you know, kind of difficult uh, to really get. Oh yeah, there's another hard piece back there. I know how to get that one. Um... Oh, I just realized there wasn't a Triforce symbol there. I don't think. I think it was just some text. So maybe the owl was kind of necessary on that. Yep, it was. There was no uh, no text. Unless I check it with Navi, and Navi just says, Hey, look, it says... Uh... Okay, it's, it's in Morse code. Actually, it's not a stretch to believe that it actually might be in Morse code. Okay, whatever. Welcome to Zora's Domain. The part of the game that has the music I considered as the in I considered for, um, I considered, I, I don't know how to put this, I considered using this music as the intro for this series, because sometimes I like to change up the music between series, um, but this doesn't scream Zelda or Ocarina of Time, and five is too loud, four is loud enough. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Uh, so, yeah, this is a shop. Uh, these are the Zoras in past Zelda games. They were, like, really weird green dudes with a giant red mouth, and it's fucking weird, and they're way more fuckable in this one. Everyone else's words, as well as mine, I suppose. Uh, who are you? Why are the Zoras, uh, we are, the, uh, sorry, we are the Zoras, the proud aquatic people. Uh, so you say you have some connection with Hyrule's royal family. Uh, well, what do you want from us? Okay. Um, I need a spiritual stone from you guys, because you guys have the third one. Um, right, yes. Uh, just ahead, King Zora's chamber. Show proper respect. I shall. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> proper respect is gonna be weird. Okay. Very famous part of the game, this guy. Um, yeah. King Zora's throne room. To hear the king's royal proclamations, stand on the platform and speak to him. If you try and speak to him from any other angle, he doesn't want to talk, so... You have to do it on here. Oh dear, my sweet Princess Ruto. Where has she gone? I'm so worried. And that is all. Uh, <laughs> Valuable King. Uh, but first, we have to do a minigame. This is required for progression. I don't think you're ever told this. That's a problem with the game, I think. <laughs> uh, diving game. 20 rupees if you want to play. Okay. Pick up all five... Alright, whatever. He's going to toss five... 
He's, yeah, he's going to toss five blue rupees into the water below. We have to get in there and catch them within the time limit. So you actually make five rupees off the deal, uh, assuming you get all of them. Um, but yeah, we have 50 seconds to grab all the rupees um, using our very limited swimming mechanics. <laughs> Oof. Swimming in this game is famously unfun, and I cannot critique anyone if they dislike it. It's not good. Uh, <laughs> it functions. They never force you to do amazing acrobatics like they do in Majora's Mask 3D. Ay ay ay. Uh, or even Majora's Mask, period. They do change up the swimming a little. It's still not good. Majora's Mask has a bigger problem with that, but I don't know. It's fine in this one. <laughs> The water temple requires the most swimming, but it's just pretty much going up and down, so you're not really worried about... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, yeah, so he just said... I don't remember if I read it or not, uh, but he just said that we won, so we have to come up and uh, claim our prize uh, for beating the game, as if five rupees wasn't a prize, but whatever. Uh, what a graceful dive. Now please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. Hooray! You got the silver scale. Jump into the water and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. So, yeah. We, um, if we check... Ooh. Ominous echo. Uh, <laughs> so, this is the map. Oh, I forgot to go to Lon Lon Ranch. Yeah, we'll go there after this. Um, okay, yeah. So, we got Gerudo Valley on the map. We got Lon Lon Ranch, Lake Hylia. We got all that shit. Uh, we also got the... Oh. Wait, what are these two things, then? Because I thought those two things were these two things. <laughs> Those things are not these two things. Uh, okay. I've completely forgotten what those two slots do. <laughs> we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Uh, or they just don't do anything. Um, anyway, yeah. Now we can dive for six seconds instead of three, which means we can get under here. Yeah. <sighs> People don't like the water areas of this game. It's very nondescript and annoying. Lake Hylia. This was here the whole time. There's a bottle right there. Um, but yeah, now we can dive for longer. And there's really nothing else in this entire lake quite boring. Um, let's grab this bottle first. Yeah! You got an empty bottle. Put something inside and press C to use it. Okay, yeah. We got an empty bottle with a thing inside. <laughs> it's really stupid. Um, yeah. Let her in a bottle. Good old thing. How it got out here, I don't know, but we'll read it in a second. <laughs> Whew. Uh, hello, Agamemnon? Yeah, sure, close enough. Uh, <laughs> uh huh. It looks like there is something already inside this bottle. Yep, it's a letter. Help me, I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Ruto. Uh, P.S. Don't tell my father. Okay, so we have to go tell her father now. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, she'll only be really mad. Um... <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whew. Ugh. Zora's Domain is not a fun area. Not a fun area to explain. It's a fine area when you know what you're doing. But not a fun area to explain because it shows a lot of faults with the game. Uh, also, we should just go into the shop and see what they have. Ominous Echo again. Okay, welcome. Whoopsies. Okay, so they've got Deku Nuts. Awesome. I'm gonna buy them. Uh, they've got a fish for 200 rupees. Overpriced. Uh, red potion for 50 rupees. Arrows for f nine, oh, for 90 rupees. 50 piece though. Good lord. That's good. Okay, they've got bulk arrows. A heart and a Zora tunic for 300. Um, we'll get back to the tunics later. We don't need them right now, so we just won't bother with them. Um... That, the tunics are actually a holdover from, you guessed it, Link's Awakening. Okay. The Link's Awakening did have a green, red, and blue tunic, but that's more of a reference to Zelda 1, which had a uh, you know, green, red, and blue tunic. Um, so if we just show him the letter, he'll stop talking about Ruto. I mean, he won't, but whatever. Ho, oh, this letter is from Princess Ruto? God, it stinks. <laughs> ho. I mean, how else do you respond? Uh, <laughs> hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. Uh, but since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little greener on the gills. Har har fish joke. Uh, 
The evidence seems clear. Of course, you, uh, you'll go find Ruto. Uh, you can pass through here to get to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. Uh, take it respectfully. Uh, please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Zora. Okay, I don't know if anyone knows what the fuck that was supposed to be. I think everyone's best, at least the most optimistic guess, is that that was their attempt at comedy. Um, <laughs> everyone else's guess and consensus seems to be that that was just a really poor decision. <laughs> like, that's, there's no reason it should have taken that long. Um, I okay, ignore you saw that. Yeah, I'm not. We're gonna grab a fish. Minor spoilers, we need a fish. <laughs> and I'm not gonna go and get behind Lord Jabu Jabu and come back for a fish. Fuck's sake! There we go. <laughs> we got a fish. Never had that much trouble with a fish. Okay, yeah, we need a fish. Um, okay. Ugh. Um, yeah. Okay, so, widely considered a not good move to have Lord Jabu Jabu take that long to move. I kind of agree. I don't know. It's so much of an iconic part of this game and emanates such a degree of confusion. I don't think I have an opinion. <laughs> it's weird that people... I, it's weird to me that people do have an opinion. It's such an iconic part of the game. I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It does take an unnecessarily long amount of time. Oh, goody! That's Lord Jabu Jabu. Does anyone know what he is? No. <laughs> if anyone tells you they know what he is, good, they're lying. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Zora's Fountain. Don't disturb Lord, don't disturb Lord Jabu Jabu, King Zora the 16th. Um, okay, right. Uh, before we get to the widely considered worst part of the game, it's, well, widely considered worst part of the game would be the Water Temple. Widely considered most confusing and unnecessary part of the game is what we need to fish for. Um, but we are going to do something over here first with our bombs instead of Deku Nuts. Um, yeah, if you blow up this wall right here, uh, which you can find out you can blow up later, but I'm just going to do it now for the purposes of the item we get isn't exactly useful, so we're not using it anyway. Um... Yeah, there's a great fairy fountain. Hooray, we've now done half of them. Um, the other half are way later in the... Well, two of them are way later in the game. Where was the third one? Oh, yeah. So, mm, two dungeons from now, I think. Three dungeons from now. Yeah, three dungeons. Welcome, not a zero. I am the great fairy of magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. This is everyone's least favorite magic spell because it doesn't really do much. <laughs> you got Feroar's Wind. It's a warp magic you can use with C. Uh, warp to where you are in, uh, when you're in danger. Um, you will teleport to the warp point when you first, uh, use the magic spell. Okay. It's bad at explaining it, so I'll just, um, yeah, I'll just explain it. So, oh, uh, remember, you can use, uh, Furore's Wind only in dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside. What the fuck? Yeah, see, it's such, it's so specific. No one ever really uses it, and it's not really useful, especially in this series. I'm gonna know where I'm going the whole time. Um... But, in dungeons, you can cast it in a room, and it'll make a little green orb. And then you can leave the dungeon, and then do whatever, and then come back. And when you come back, you can cast the spell again, and then teleport to the green orb. So if you're deep inside a dungeon, and you need to leave and go get fairies, you can, um... You can set a warp point, and then come back. 
Uh, alternatively, you can put it in a safe area, and then if you bite off more than you can chew in any given room and you're about to die, then you can use Furore's Wind to teleport back to a safe area. It's useful on paper, but it seems like it would be more useful in any other game. Okay, so Lord Jabu Jabu, I think in the 3DS version, this sign reads, Give him a fish. <laughs> but in this one it just says, Don't touch Lord Jabu Jabu. Pointless. But if you... Yeah. it's This is widely considered like the worst puzzle in the game. You're given no hints that you're supposed to do this. Um, but if you give him a fish, then he opens his mouth and... Uh, well, you'll see. He eats the fish. And Link. <laughs> Sorry, not a zero. Ah. And welcome to the third dungeon inside Jabu Jabu's belly. This is weird. This is a weird dungeon. This is way weirder than inside the Great Deku Tree. I don't know why there are two dungeons in this game that force you to go inside shit. Like, living things. Um, okay, right. These are, um... Shab Shabam. I've never actually checked what they're called. Uh, if you try to cut it, it will bounce off your blade. Um, they cannot be cut. Uh, however, you can do this. Boom. Gone. Deku nuts. Again, most underrated item ever. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, we're not going to worry about putting a fairy in that bottle just yet. Okay. There we go. This dungeon is confusing, and I don't ex... When I was doing my research playthrough, I don't... I never really came to a conclusion as to how I was going to explain certain things. But I'm just gonna improvise. Uh, Beery, if you touch it, you will be electrocuted. Don't touch the Beery. <laughs> it's... it's... Whoa, fuck. It's just a flying, um... Jellyfish, so it's... It's a jellyfish. Um... Right, okay, this room... More visible in... Okay, whatever. Those are sinkholes. Don't fall in. You'll go to a room below. There's Princess Ruto. Okay. You. Who are you? <laughs> I am Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked uh, you to come here and save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Uh, letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father is worried about me. Um, okay, we'll come back to that. Uh, I don't care. Anyway, I can't go home right now, and you get out of here, understand? And she fell into one of the holes. Oh no! They're much more visible in the 3DS version, um, but that hole is blocked by a giant weird tentacle thing. Just trust me, it's a tentacle. Uh, <laughs> fuck. I instinctively rolled. Um, oh, I suppose it wasn't all bad, because I forgot that there was a gold skulltella here. No, there isn't. No, there just genuinely is not. Ow. Um. Okay. <sighs> what was I going to say? Trust me, it's tentacle. Oh, yes. Right. Um. Wait, nope, it's gone. Right, yes. Uh, some people have theorized that because Ruto said she wouldn't write a message in a bottle that someone else did, but I think they forget that she's like, Ten, a spoiled rich kid, and probably doesn't want to admit that she asked for help. Because of obviousness, right? Like, we can all agree that she would... Oh, whatever. <laughs> There's no theory to be made there. It's just writing. Um, are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been uh, going inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly ever since I was little. But Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. Uh, there are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was... But uh, that's none of your business anyway. You, go home, understand? We need her. I, again, this is a hard dungeon to explain without wandering on the whole thing twice and then... Just trust me. Uh, arguably better if I wasn't skipping her text right now. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You better believe me. Uh, okay. <laughs> we need... It's a, yeah. Um, basically, she just said... Uh, we need to carry her if we want to get her out of here. Um, and uh, for, yeah. Getting her out of here doesn't exactly work uh, because if we were to get her out of here, we would be leaving behind the stone, and we're here for the stone, not her. So, whatever. Um, 
but we do need her in the same way we'd, we would need a cardboard box. Uh, <laughs> so, ah, fuck. Oh, yes, the manta ray things. Um, stinger, destroy it before it flies into you. Cool, useful. It told me it was a stinger, so that's something. Okay. Gold, future me, gold. Okay. Very dated. Yeah, okay. Don't worry about what I was swimming in. <laughs> you can guess, I'm sure. Ah, fuck. Yeah, she's basically invincible. There we go. Whew. Right, uh, if you can see there, there's a tiny gap down there under the Octorok. If you go in there, guess what, Deku Merchant? Uh, I think he just sells, like, uh, I think he sells Deku Nuts. Which, again, very useful, very useful item. Uh, useful in basically any situation. Um, which, you know, I, right now I could reflect the rock back at the Octorok, but why would I do that? Uh, when I could just not. Ah, oh, okay. Let's... Dungeon kind of sucks. It's not not my favorite. Far from my favorite. Uh, what would be my favorite? Hmm. I don't know. I couldn't say it without spoiling future temples because it's definitely not been the other two we've beaten. Uh, Dodongo's Cavern's definitely up there. I really enjoy that one. But, I don't know. It's kind of uninteresting. Early game and all that. Right. So, this is just a weird maze of... Oh, okay, yeah, we're going the wrong way. Weird maze of fucking ow. Stomach or whatever. Um, Navi, tell me what these are, please. Oh, fuck. Tell me what they are. Alright. Okay, there we go. Tail. Oh, fuck off. T pa Passaran. Its tail is uh, the weak point. Okay, cool. Uh, that button is too, is stuck, so if we were to step on it, uh, this switch, it doesn't look like you can press down on it with just your weight alone. Not a zero. Yeah, so you're supposed to find that first, I guess, and then come back with Ruto, but I didn't want to do that, so we're just here now. Alright, cool. There we go. Stay down. Oh, okay. Yeah, alright, when we kill these stingers with our thing, we, uh, well, whatever, we have to beat this room. <laughs> just trust me. Um, yeah. I suppose just to talk about something. Uh, yeah. Uh, in Eager Raptor Sequel Lightus, he mentioned that basically every enemy in this game controls the pace of the fight, and that does not make for a very fun game, because skill gets kind of thrown out the window, because if you just wait long enough, you win. Um, and that's a 100% fair criticism. Uh, a counterpoint. Shut up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. That's. I just want to bring that up because that is a very valid point and a very strong mark against this game. And I wouldn't blame anyone for disliking this game for that reason. Um, most enemies are fairly uninteresting. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Here's my excuse. It's old. I'm kidding. I would never legitimately use that as an excuse. It's... That's such a stupid fucking excuse. It's like, well, if it's good at the time, then you agree that newer games are objectively better, so why are you playing an older game? And I, and I don't necessarily say that older games then are bad, I'm just saying that if you like a game, then, you know, and, and you want to say that it's a good game, I don't know, it's art, so you theoretically couldn't make an argument like that. But I don't know. Alright, so this is a blue switch. You have to keep something pressed on it in order to keep moving. So, Ruto, stay there. Oh, yeah, right. I completely forgot. We got the boomerang. Um, Self-explanatory. Throw it. Comes back. Cool. Uh, I assume you all know what a boomerang is. <laughs> um, that's a giant tentacle thing. We gotta hit it with the boomerang. And then there's an interesting tactic where you can just kind of chuck the boomerang over and over again while right underneath it. There you go. It is dead. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, ignoring the point that art is subjective. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Coming up with excuses as to why a game is good seems kind of... 
Eh, I don't like the idea. I just like talking about game design, so it's... Obviously, I don't like... Oh, whatever, she criticized us for, uh... uh <laughs> she just mad at us for leaving her behind, which there's no other thing. Uh, right, so there was a red tentacle here, because we killed the red tentacle thing. Uh, the red tentacle things across the dungeon are now gone, which in, in which there was one. Um, we have to kill all these guys in 40 seconds. Gee, that was hard. Uh, you're never told about the, um, about the Dekunet thing. Most Dekunet things are just rewards for trying out a early game item, like the earliest game of I earliest of game items. A very early game item, trying it on every late game enemy. So, it's very rewarding. We got the compass, completely useless. Um, yeah. On my research playthrough, I actually couldn't find the compass in one of the dungeons, so we just might not get a compass in one of them. Not that it entirely matters, because it won't actually really affect things, but... Okay, yeah, so... Oh, I, I suppose there were two red tentacle things. One was there, one is over here. Ugh, and then there was a blue tentacle there, which we need to then cut off by cutting off this blue thing. This is not my favorite dungeon. I need to say... So yeah, safe to say this is my least favorite. I like the water temple more. I don't mind the water temple, I actually kind of like it. Would I call the water temple my favorite? I would say any temple in which I think about it and go, Oh god, that would not be my favorite temple. So... I like... Or... Yeah. Or dungeon, I mean. Um, it's called the water temple, but... You know, they're all called dungeons. There is one dungeon that I don't like, but I love the item in it, so... There's that. I suppose the last slash second to last, that's a problem we'll get to in a sec. Also, these guys can pretty much only be killed with a boomerang, so... Bam, there you go. And the green tentacle, uh, which was... Uh, ah, fuck. Good quarter of a heart damage, right. Um, so yeah, destroying this will unlock the uh, thing covering that weird hole. Fucking... There we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to end the video here soon. This is actually a pretty good ending spot. <sighs> okay, yep. Good night, everybody.